So um, as patients um, express um, their difficulties and as clinicians uh, pay attention to these difficulties, um, there is an increasing awareness that science should uh, focus on, on trying to address these, these needs. And Nova Vision has one of the very few that have uh, actually been um, you know, appropriately uh, developed for that purpose. Um, and I think is by far um, the, the company with the greatest experience in, the, in that realm. One of the challenges in designing strategies for uh, promoting recovery of visual problems is uh, uh, trying to understand what causes the visual problems um, and, the, and how to design an intervention that taps specifically in those mechanisms. The idea um, that has emanated from the understanding of brain plasticity is that when you have an injury to the visual system, ultimately the symptoms that the patient presents are not simply the manifestation of the damage, but are the manifestation of how that damage impacted on the brain, how the brain was uh, not able to fully compensate for, for the damage. And so, to begin with, the difficulties after an injury to the visual system are manifestation of plasticity, are manifestation of these changes that take place. And so the, uh, the notion behind Nova Vision is that if we can understand better what these plastic changes are like, we might be able to guide them. We might be able to modify them at an individual basis, patient by patient, so that the ultimate outcome might be as good as possible for the individual. In order to do so, um, we can leverage different ways of modifying connections in the brain. Um, fundamentally, we want to instruct the brain to pay attention and to process in different ways the type of stimuli that sometimes are not appropriately being attended to. Um, and one can do so by changing the, the connectivity between certain parts of the brain. So the predicament behind um, Nova Vision is to establish a strategy that will reinforce certain connections, um, the result of which would be to reduce the area of uh, blindness that the patient has and therefore offer them more functional vision um, that might translate into an improvement in reading abilities or driving abilities and so forth in day-to-day -day life. There is a number of studies using the Nova Vision technique uh, that have used, for example, functional imaging studies to understand how the brain of somebody with a visual problem is processing vision and how that processing is changed after the Nova Vision intervention, the VRT intervention. Um, such studies um, provide evidence that indeed after the VRT treatment, there are plastic changes in the brain their recruitment of areas that previously were not processing information and that now kick in to help compensate, to help uh, recover some of the previous uh, visual loss. Um, as we start to understand those uh, mechanisms at work, one can start thinking of ways to modify the VRT uh, treatment even to make it even more uh, effective than it has been to date. So, so what the imaging studies show us is that areas of the brain that previously were silent when um, presenting certain visual stimuli, presumably silent as a manifestation of the, or, or correlated with the fact that the patient was not aware of the stimuli, um, now show activity in response to the stimuli after the VRT treatment, suggesting that the type of processing of the stimuli has been modified and that that modification ultimately is causally related to their improvement in vision. What we've come to understand is that the brain is plastic and what the plasticity means is that the brain is capable of finding pathways, finding ways that were there before, I think that's critical, but that were um, there before in a sort of rudimentary way. There's, they were there already, but they were relatively underutilized. 
because uh, you were particularly using other pathways. And now these smaller pathways can not only be used, but in fact, remarkably, can be expanded. Um, so it is unlikely uh, that the brain establishes brand new connections that never existed in order to overcome a deficit. We wish that were the case, but so far the evidence for that is very, very small. Um, however, what we do know is that the brain has incredible number of connections, many of which are relatively underutilized. They're being used for certain things, but they can be deployed to be used for other more important things if the need arises. And if it does, um, then it is uh, possible for the brain to actually modify the strength of those connections. So for example, a recent work from um, Ella Bat uh, Plo and uh, Lotfi Merabet uh, combining a technique called transcranial direct current stimulation, um, which is a way to change plasticity of the brain directly through brain stimulation without having to do surgery, just transcranially. Uh, if you couple this technique of transcranial direct current stimulation with VRT, what they found is that you can get the, a degree of response in patients that normally would take six or more months of VRT treatment, but achieve this in half the time. 